Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Already, when we left off, we were at this little uh, powwow here with the police and some corpo someone, and they seem like they're breaking a couple laws here, but they're also showing skulls which means they're probably going to kill me if I try to fight them that said I do still kind of want to but I'll just leave it be I think it's probably for the best if I leave it be for now for now all right anyway I was running towards the Jefferson the Thrax Jefferson to try and possibly buy it um hello probably one of my groupies yep nope. okay that was absolutely an accident is he just is he literally walking away from me He's walking away from me like I'm doing nothing to him at all. Also, this gun sucks. Oh, yeah, you do something. Okay, well. That's what I expected to happen should I have fought the cops. But, <laughs> I didn't fight the cops. Instead, just got messed up by some perps anyway <laughs> well since that didn't work out okay well this was apparently the checkpoint i'm going across the street okay do what Okay, well, you can get mad. Oh boy, oh boy. You're just walking, oh boy, you're just walking away again, huh? You're just kind of sitting there waiting for me to do this. Also, you're teleporting around quite a bit. Like, to the point... <laughs> oh, this is just silly. What's going on here is just silly. I bet. Yep, I expected that. He sure wasn't there prior. <laughs> I'll say that much first time I did that I figured you know maybe I'll be able to get the drop on the guy since there wasn't another person there but no no this time there was All right, you got I got All right. oh he's able to okay able to do that, huh? Okay. Go, motherfuckers, go! Okay, well, I'm kind of getting some good hits in. Okay, well, that was something. Okay, I'm getting... Whoa, okay! What the hell? Well, this guy's able to move like... Whoa, okay, I guess that's on purpose. That he can move like that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> How many times have I died now? Five times? <laughs> okay, I'm done fighting them. I'm done trying to do that. That clearly ain't gonna work. 
So screw it. I am not bothering. Alrighty. So I'm just going to head towards the car I intend to buy. Which I do have the money for, I think. No, I do not. What was I thinking? Okay, well, um... Already, this episode is off to a rollicking good start. And by rollicking, I mean really, really bad. Um, playing for time? Meet with Takamura. Oh, that's the main job. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Uh, meet Mama Wells at El Coyote Coyo. Okay, well, I guess that's an option. And it's close. Ow. Why'd I get hit? Oh, that was barbed wire. I hurt my stupid ass on barbed wire. And you watch it. Alright. I'll go pop one of these real quick. There we go. That one I'm actually topped off with full health. Okay, we bye bye. Get past you. This run ain't actually taken all that long compared to uh well what I thought it would be. Alright, I'm winded a little bit, but that's fine. Back to sprinting. That was some music. All right, we. Whoop. The what? Um. Not exactly what I was going for. Was gonna go for fists. Ow. Ow. Okay then. I noticed the skull. Ah, uh, they ain't worth my time. You ain't worth my time either. The hell is with all of these big level enemies just popping up? It's like, how am I supposed to compete with that? It's like I can't. Alright. Anyway, we're almost there. The coyote. Assuming we... No? Now we turn left for some reason. Thought we turned left earlier than that, but okay. Alright, there we go. The pool table? We got to get rid of it. Really? It's pretty massive. So... Maybe we scooch it, put it up against the wall. I mean, that's an option. There we go. I was getting a drink of my tea before I got into it. V, nice to see you. Oye, sit. Sit. Okay. You want a beer? Wouldn't mind one. Yeah. Why not? Thank you. Salute. A lot of time has passed. Oh, yeah. How you been? Hanging in there somehow. Somehow. You could have come over for dinner. Nuestra casa es tu casa. I know. Mm. But okay. We put it behind us. Hmm? I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. And a friend of, what's that exactly? Friends and family. We gather to celebrate the departed. Our memories of them. And we bring things they loved in life and might need in the after. Sure some beer would be at the top of Jackie's list. 
And there will be beer. Fair enough. Could help you with that. Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. I want to take part in the ceremony, but... I want to do it the right way. In line with tradition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But something I'd lay by his casket... That it do justice to his memory. I, mean, I don't got anything. Mm. But your heart is in the right place, mi niño. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. But not so long ago he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. You won't mind me digging through his stuff? No, mijo. He's gone, and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. All right. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. Okay. Ahí te veo. Hasta luego. So somber and part of a funeral doesn't change, real or not. All right, what we got back here anyway? Bunch of beer kegs. That makes sense considering. Nothing much else. Nothing much else. Oh, well, that's his. Hey. Hi, V. Hey, Misty. You here alone? This is not exactly the safest neighborhood in town, Misty. I used to sit on the stairs when I was 10. 26 now. If anything was going to happen, it wouldn't have taken this long. Fair point. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Yeah, I get it. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just, well... human. Yeah. I guess. You know each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same streets. Saw each other a lot, but just never got together. Until a year back. Yeah. Best darn year of my life. Jack talked about you a lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. Maybe. But that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. What did you see in him? Let me tell you what he told me once. Told me he'd take a bullet for me. In an instant. Even if it'd kill him. Spoken like a true Haywood boy. A man. With dreams. Ambitions. Only thing they cost him was his life. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set. You two didn't get that far? He offered, but I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Fair enough. Well, you might as well hitch along with me, since we're wanting to go in the same place. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. You mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon? No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. Oh. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things. Disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie would want you here. Okay. That's more important. Come on. 
don't know what she uh, did to get on her bad side, but all right. My hand clipped through the garage door. <laughs> I just noticed that. Okay. I just also noticed there was a bit of text I missed. Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Yeah, you're not exactly wrong. <clears throat> Locked. I wonder what's in there. That's his lair. Slept there. He must have had a different key. Let's look around. Might be tucked away somewhere? Maybe. Budget bag. Makes sense. Alright, what do we got? It's a lot of piping. Don't. Okay, there it is. Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Mm. Knowing him, it's a miracle he never wiped out. Fine piece of metal in mechanics. He was so psyched. Yep. For whom the bell tolls, Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times. Always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. You read it? Is it any good? I... I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. Yeah. Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. That's definitely why they're up there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Totally believable. Oh. Common item components. Found it. Get Jackie's room. Okay, again, it keeps popping up options that I haven't. I then lose for like half a second. Okay, it's gonna drive me up a wall. I'm trying to force this one. That's definitely a good choice, but I kind of want to see what's in this room. Oh, Jackie. Is that a mandala? Mm hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. Well, I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. It's beautiful. It's hideous. But it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. An aquarium. They used to be tacos. And taco was... Miss Fish. A dwarf shark. Like Minnie. Oh, like Gura. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. <laughs> oh, I don't think he bought it. Ah, uh, that does make a lot of sense. Okay, well, there's that. Um, that seemed kind of messed up for me to do. But it was sitting there after all. Leather belt. Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Ah, Jesus. Until one day, Jackie fought back, kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why'd he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. Yeah, that's fair. 
Nice still. Ah, uh, I didn't expect that. Um, uh, there we go, I guess. Don't know why it skipped the whole still thing. Especially when I didn't actually intend on using this. Okay, well, that sucks. Jackie's favorite tequila. Oh, still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. The founder of Sanson Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. How'd Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him De Abajo had stolen her recipe. Taking this, yeah. Perfect for Jackie. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, you got something for your ofrenda. But we could look around a little more. I kind of want to get the book, too. If I can. Jack, pure and simple. I think that's good enough. Might as well bring the bell. Screw it. True memento, this. Next. Oh, damn it. Again, it keeps doing the thing that I don't want it to be doing. <sighs> Screw it. Still full. Ah, the rest. favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. <laughs> no I'll touching. Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica? Because ¿Ah? you can't touch a strategic reserve. <laughs> I mean, I get that. Got to be hanging here since 2020. Yeah. Better get going. Yeah. Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. What happened between you two? What's the beef? Let's just say she didn't see me as daughter-in-law material. What she have against you? That my name wasn't Camila and I wasn't Jackie's ex-output. Camila was Mama Wells' favorite. Mm, right. You gotta come, Misty. You got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. So, shall we go? Yeah. Let's go do it. I'll um. see you at the coyote then. Okay. Well, I mean, I was just heading over there. You ever thought you might leave Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? You mean in... Packed my bags and hopped on a plane? To Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. Okay. Damn me, hey. Any way to get by, I guess. Whoa, okay. Go raise a glass to him, Padre. A few glasses. A few. Yeah. Hey, Mama Wells. It's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Okay. Hey, V. Hey, Victor. Thank you all for coming today. 
I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, No te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying, make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true, Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. <laughs> Be here. Still has four years to serve. You ask me to. I remember when Jackie first came to us. He was a tough kid. When he said he could do something, he did. He had honor. He would have made it far. My condolences to the family. May he rest in peace. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. It all started when he put a heater to my head. <laughs> then some badges showed up. And beat the shit out of us both. It's half my fault, half his. <laughs> we hightailed it out together. Half an hour later, well, we're eating dinner at Mama Wells. Mm -hmm. Turned out to have more in common than we thought. Principles. Jackie Wells. Always hungry for more. And never gave up. Not once. Once he set his mind to something. He was ready to die to achieve it. He once told me, Broder, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. For his loved ones, he'd sacrifice his life without hesitation. But most importantly, everyone saw Jackie as a grinning charmer who saw the good in everyone. Everything. They were wrong. Jackie Wells was a hell of an ambitious chum who never gave up. And his drive cost him his life. But he did in life what he said he'd do. Reach for fortune and fame. No fear in eyes or heart. When you go to war as a boy, you have a great illusion of immortality. Other people get killed, not you. Then, when you are badly wounded the first time, you lose that illusion. Rest easy, Chu. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo.
Thank you for your kind words, me. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offering that we gave him. A lot of people come today. Even that putika Jackie was messing around with. Come on. Her name is Misty. What? Misty. And she was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. You know what? You're a good man. Jackie would want you to have these. You... You sure? Jackie would kill me if I got so much as a scratch on it. So don't get any scratches on it. <laughs> Just when I'm needing the vehicle. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuidate, B. You too. Talk to the Valentinas. Where? <laughs> Where are they at, though? Uh, crap. How you doing, dog? Okay. Uh, okay. Hey. Do you alright? Yeah. I think I'm just still in that garage, mentally. I just need a sec. Yeah. That's fair. Campos all torn up. Says he gonna miss like him. he lost one of his own. I already do. Torn up after you die. Uh, me too, cabron. Started something, eh? Me Not too. Today. Here's to Jackie. Got off to greener pastures. Jackie Wells. A proud son of Haywood. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I should mingle, Vic. Sure. See you later, V. Yeah. Pour you another? For Jaquito? See, the Valentinos haven't forgotten about Jackie. Days like this, even the meanest motherfuckers pay their respects. Principles. Jackie lived by them. Days what kept them going. Oh, yeah. Weird being here without Jackie. Can't shake the feeling I'm gonna turn around and see him sitting at the bar. In his favorite spot, where he always used to sit. Poor. For Jackie. Yeah, why not? Amen, brother. It's another three, five drinks before we head home, huh? Drink with us. Hmm? To Wells? How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible Book Club. All right, all right. I get it. I got only good memories of him. Rest easy up there, brother. All right. Why not? To Wells. May he rest in peace. I think we might know each other. Gustavo Horta. V. Yeah, I've heard about you. Well, heartfelt condolences, friend. From me, Campo, and all the Valentinos. Thank you. Good for now, thanks. See? You gotta know when to stop. Nah, give me a break. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Where's Padre at? Talk to him too. Before I head out. Yeah, can't seem to see him over here. But... Yeah. Starting to wonder where he's at. Might be upstairs, as far as I know. Or not. Wait. Maybe. There we go. 
here to say goodbye to one of your own? Padre? I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. Jackie, do you know him well? I remember the day his mother brought him into this world. The day his father left. The day he took him into his home. Yes, V. I knew him quite well. So, Padre, you think Jackie's looking down upon us? From up there? I believe he has met God, stood before him. That's it. I don't know if God left the meeting happy, but I'm pretty certain Jackie did. Fair enough. How are things in the streets? This is not the place to conduct business. Have some respect. No, that's fair. That's fair. I'm gonna move on. Go with God. Alrighty. Time to go home. Think about it, I did need to go around back. Or did I? Technically. Jackie Lurch. Watching vehicles bounce. Since we're gonna work together, only right to say hello. They call me El Capitan, and they call you. Yeah. No introductions necessary. I'll already take care of that. Someone comes to me with beers, I take care of. Eat, sleep, and breathe. Remember. Aye, aye, Captain. While we're at it, need fresh wheels. Likes. I got it all. Real good price. So hit me up anytime. You're here. Okay. Oh, and another thing. If you ever want to come size me up, look me in the eye, whatever, swing by. I'm here. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious to meet you. Fair enough. God, that's an ugly car. Am I here super on? I need to get rid of. Now, I know I shouldn't talk smack about my own stuff, but Jesus, what a pile of shit. It's just like someone welded together an old tub and dumpster and stuck it on a cardboard cutout and taped some wheels on it. Jesus. Look, I know not everyone's got enough eddies to blow on an Aaron <laughs> Dite. I don't fucking know how to pronounce that. Aaron Dite? I, I guess that's how you pronounce it. But if you need something cheap and fast, this is it. <laughs> yeah. Looks like it. Alrighty. Okay. Ooh. Okay, this is not good going to take my dying night here oh geez oh, they are really strong wow wow Well, I was trying not to continue dying today, but I guess that's not an option I have. Damn. Damn, man. Well. Yeah. 
since I cannot seem to survive any fights with people. Well. Oh, geez. Okay, all right. Oh, geez. Doing something illegal, what? Moving around like... Oh, geez. Okay, well... Remember when I said I wasn't going to bother, and then I did it anyway, and then I got my ass handed to me? Again. I'm, I'm really not going to bother. I'm really not going to bother. It's not even worth it. It's not even close to worth it. Like at all, really. Um, holy shit nuggets. Okay, um, happy together? Try talking to Barry. Human nature. Wait for the car to be repaired. Huh. I guess that's an option. Wait for my wheels to be repaired. Uh, not going to do it, but I mean... Why is everything all in high? Gig. My free reward. Oh, yeah, from the gig. That's right. Hmm. I don't remember that, but okay. I guess I'll have to do that. Eventually. But this first. We will do this first. Let's see. Ah, uh, well, Jack is going to kill me for that one. That's some music choice. Okay. Ow. Oh. I just noticed that I missed my turn. Um. that. Ow! They're all... <sighs> I was going to say they're all higher level than me, and then I keep beating up Jackie's arch. I feel bad. But at the same time, I know I'm a bad driver in this game. Yeah, I quantified it with this game specifically because it's just this game. I'm a good driver in real life, I swear. Games are never a good indicator of how I drive as a human being. Seem to recall the last time I saw your face, it had my fist planted in it. Yeah. Ah, you know what's past is past. Uh huh. Importance in the sweet gig I got you. Quick and easy buck. Uh huh. Swing by the coyote and I'll tell you about it. First round's on me. Well, what do you say? Yeah. Fine. See you there. Same old B. I always said you were smart. You say a lot of things, Kurt. Pure bullshit included. Oh, no, B, not this time. 
This time, everything's just like it's supposed to be. Best not stall too long on this one. Later. Alright. Time to head to the clinic. And then I will call it an episode. Okay, well, that wasn't good. Oh! <laughs> Didn't expect to get that much air, okay. Alright. Almost there. Just have to make sure I'm also keeping an eye on the mini map. Haha! <laughs> That's why! <laughs> Bye! And. Alright, there we go. All NCPD subcons. APB out for suspect accused of organized crime activity near Ross Street and Shipyard Way. Scavengers led by Yelena Sidorova, presumed armed and dangerous, have assaulted multiple homeless persons. Oh. Night City officials are offering a reward for neutralizing the threat. Alrighty. That's not what I meant. There we go. Better. Well, I guess we can do that at some point. Not sure. Oh, it, this was the Ripper Dock here. That's what that symbol means. Okay. That advertisement is fucked up. Alright. Is that. Is that kid holding a gun? What's up, boy? Oh, he's holding a toy gun. I really hope that's a toy gun. How's Biz treating you, Cassius? Lately? Can't complain. MaxTac raided a black clinic not long past. Oh, yeah? Since then, custom accounts gone up, and so my prices. Coincidence? <laughs> you decide. Alrighty. Let's see what's good. Do you hate Take your meat? Your Jesus. Okay. Alright, the, uh... What was it? Uh, that is not it. Um, wow. That is a lot of money. Okay. Um, what was the free thing? I don't remember what it was. No. Okay. I don't remember at all. That's not good. Wish I knew what it was. A lot of things are locked past street cred. Oh. That's the dermal imprint thing. Okay. Smart targeting module and smart weapons. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Confirm. And that... That takes up the other thing? Increases the chance to ricochet shots with power weapons. I gotcha. That's what that was for. Okay. Okay. Alright. So... Yeah, this kind of wasn't all that useful to me. So, I guess this works just fine. Skeleton increases carrying capacity by 20%. I kind of do want to uh, do want to buy some stuff. But, whoa. I don't remember that pistol. Oh, yeah, that, now I remember. I remember. It wasn't that good. I remember that part. Remember it not being that great. Um, the shotgun. Mm. Nah, that's fine. All right.
right, thank you very much. You got the whole thing. And now I end the episode because it is way over time. Okay, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community where you can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and honoring Jackie the best way we know how. We get his ride as well. I feel bad for the damage I've technically put on it, even though technically I also haven't done any damage from the look of it, but I still feel bad. Hey! I'm in the middle of talking. And, and on top of that, I'm uh, trying to get some gigs done, but it seems everyone is overleveled for me to be doing anything, and it pisses me off. So eventually, we will fix that problem for you.